are back. Today, we will discuss a couple of tips that should help with the PBCA Management and Occupancy Review. That's correct. HUD has lifted the suspension of the MORs performed by the PBCA. Therefore, you can expect an MOR this month or months to come. Locations where there are no restrictions by state or local law to prevent them from doing so is the only consideration. MORs are to be resumed starting June. Some of them were performed then, but the rest will be probably July through August. Here's a couple of tips that should help you and we wanted you to know. There's a modified MOR model that allows the conduct of on-site MORs that does not require any of the resident's unit. That's right, they don't have to go into the resident's unit, and that's effective until September the 30th, 2020. The reviewer must do a REACT follow-up, however, to determine if the EHS items and other deficiencies have been corrected. The reviewer must contact the resident directly and find out the information. Therefore, they're going to need your help and assistance with providing them, I'm sure, contact information for your residents. A physical on-site must determine the physical conditions, the general appearance, and the security of the property, and should include a visual assessment of each building, your common areas, and the grounds. On all the on-site entrance and exit interviews, you should allow and have a voice. The purpose of the exit interview is so that if the reviewer finds something that's negative, he or she can ask you about it and you'll have time to correct it. It's important that they do these interviews and to document how. Unless, because of a state or local ordinance, the review was not done in person, then they will have to contact you by phone. All other portions of the MOR guest review, the on-site review, and that list of questions that they ask you have to be completed in its entirety. Here's a couple of things that I'd like for you to know and pay special attention to. HUD does not authorize at this time the electronic collection or submission of your tenant files. That means you can't send the tenant files to the reviewer. I know that HUD Notice 202004 talked about such things, but it's only for electronic signatures so far. HUD has said that they do not want the tenant's files sent electronically. The other thing that I'm so happy and elated about is that on the 9834 Addendum C, that list of things that you had to collect, well, you don't have to collect those things anymore. You could forward them to the reviewer ahead of time and they can review them then, which means that it will save a lot of time on your property. Those are just a few of the things that are changing about the MOR that we thought that you should know and be aware of. Again, we appreciate and thank you for tuning in to Tuesday Tips and we'll see you next Tuesday for another tip. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.